Hi, welcome to the small shed. This Saturday I'm providing some wooden supports for the tomato plants. See you in a minute. <laughs> Now, at the end of last year, when we put the garden to bed, um, I cleared up all the supports that we have for the outdoor tomato plants and noticed they were looking a little bit poorly and that they were likely to be, need some remedial work. And overwintering hasn't really helped them either. They've grown even more rotted and decrepit um, with the joints that are all starting to come undone. To the extent that I don't think there's anything much left of them apart from the top rails that are useful. So I'm just going to have a scout round, find some scrap timber up the side of the house that we've got leftovers from uh, the shed build and a couple of bits of pallet stripped down that seem reasonably nice straight square bits of timber. And I'm going to make some new supports. Um, refix them to the top rails that as I say are the only bit that's left worth having and we'll give them a coat of paint or preservative and hopefully that will see us through for another year. So I'll start off with the feet they're going to be made out of uh, I think it's 18.9 by 38 CLS I had left over yeah no, no 90, 95 um, yeah, so that's from the bench build, not the shed. It's one of those cuts that the um, mitre saw was never designed, the shroud was never designed for. So it's probably going to get a bit messy, but I just wanted to put a chamfer on the ends of the feet just to shed water a bit. So there we are, we've got two bases per set of supports, two uprights and four diagonal braces. That's basically a bit of old pallet wood, a bit of scrap wood from up the side of the house so it'll tidy things up a bit. Um, and what we're happening is I've just got to mark those out to find the centre screw that in that way and a couple of supports either side and then that's ready for the existing top rail that I've got that I can use and then we can give them a coat.
Well, that's another little job down. Hopefully it'll have earned some brownie points. Uh, I'll now take that up to the patio and put it around the tomatoes and give them something to tie into. It's there really to stop the wind loading that can very often blow them over when it gets a bad stormy day. So uh, with the weight of all the foliage and the tomatoes on, it tends to push them over. So hopefully that will sort us out this time. We'll go and make another two now and I'll see you with another project next week. Bye.